Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Now, as we already know, Luton have finally announced a goalkeeper. Thomas Kaminsky from Blackburn Rovers. Luton have finally got one. We've been linked with like literally over 100 goalkeepers in this summer transfer window, but we finally have found a goalkeeper and he goes by the name of Thomas Kaminsky. In today's video, I am going to talk to you guys about the signing, my overall thoughts on it and how, and also like going forward, the impact it will have on the team and whether or not we will also make more signings going forward. So yeah, please drop a like on today's video. The more likes we get, the better the video does. Comment below your thoughts on the new signing. More comments as well, the better the video does. And also subscribe to the channel as well. More subscribers we get on the channel. It also does better on YouTube videos do better the channel does better so please if you haven't already subscribe to the channel so thomas kaminsky from blackburn rovers i really do hope i am saying his name correctly i do apologize if i am doing it wrong i think for the remaining of the video we are going to just call him thomas i like that idea and yeah thomas we have signed from blackburn 2.5 million rising to 3 million including add-ons and so on we have been linked with pretty much every goalkeeper in the summer transfer window from the likes of begovic to tom heaton to travis and so on and so on and so on it's not the first time we were linked with thomas in this um, summer transfer window we were linked with him a couple of months back well i say a couple of months a few weeks back for a fee around five million pounds and i had a few question marks over that because i felt the fee was a little bit ridiculous i felt we were paying over the odds for him but it has been reported that we are paying around that 2.5 million pound mark like we have done on previous players so far in this summer transfer window so that does sound a little bit right to us and well to me in fact and yeah i'm glad it's not too much money because if I'm being honest with you, this, out of all the signings which we made so far, this is the one which I do have a question mark over. I don't think Thomas was our first target. I do think we had other number ones in mind. However, as it happens, and it does happen to every single team, you don't always get your number one target. And maybe our number one target was either out of price or he went to another club or he chose to stay at the club he's currently at. You know, who knows what could be the reason why. But I don't think Thomas was our main priority. I felt our main priority would have been done a lot sooner if he was done. But it is what it is. We've got finally got a goalkeeper. How good is he? Well, from people who I've spoken to about, and if you watch the, you know, the YouTube clips uh, as well, he is a really good shot stopper. He's probably better than even Horvath at, you know, sh you know stopping goals. Unfortunately, though, his distribution is something that, isn't the best but that's something we can work on but at the big age of 30 years old i don't know how easily that could be done but you know we've got a goalkeeper that's the main thing is he better than ethan yes have we improved in that department yes does he fit our style of play yes because although he isn't the best at you know distribution you know getting the ball out long is what we're probably going to be doing this year it's going to be very direct um and error prone is he error prone? No. So that's something which was part of the checklist for me. Not being an error prone goalkeeper. Even I never really trusted when he was in goal for us. I, I knew he always had a mistake in him. And I felt when he did a, a mistake, you know, you could just tell. He, he just never really, you know, came back from that. Also, he wasn't the best at penalty saving for some weird reason. I don't think we were ever going to win that penalty shootout by even actually making a save. I don't want to discard Ethan too much. He did make 20 clean sheets last year, but that was because he might main, mainly because he had a really good defence in front of him. So it will be interesting to see how well Thomas does um, for us. He's played over 100 times for Blackburn. Blackburn fans were quite gutted that he only went for a, a certain fee. Um, I don't know what happened last year. I don't know if it was just the style of play with the new boss which Blackburn had. That's why he didn't play the whole season or if there was injuries involved. But the two seasons prior to last year, he played pretty much every single game. And literally, from watching the YouTube clips, which I've watched, you know, really good shot stopper. I actually spoken to someone and he told me that Thomas Kaminsky was probably the best shot stopper in the championship out of all the goalkeepers. So that kind of speaks high volume on him. 
So I am looking forward to seeing what he can do and I, I can't express how important it was to get him before the season starts. We have a pre-season friendly tomorrow um, when we go to Germany and I can Im imagine that Thomas will be starting um, in a... Well, I reckon he will start the first Premier League game of the season and also he'll be starting in the pre-season friendly as well. He needs to get you know in and amongst with the team you know building relationships it's very very important for a goalkeeper to build relationships with the defenders and so on but yeah look we've got a goalkeeper in i'm happy we needed a goalkeeper i don't think we could have gone in with the, in the season with shea and macy maybe we'll also get another goalkeeper in who knows what could potentially happen there i'm expecting more business Edwards has come out and said that we are going to be doing more business. I definitely expect a lot more outgoings as well. So, yeah, it's exciting times at the moment. We are linked with, I think his name is Hannibal from um, Manchester United, who was on loan at Birmingham last year. We're linked with him quite heavily at the moment, so he could be coming to Luton. Um, and I can expect a, a, a striker to come in as well. I would like another centre-half to come in because we are, you know, very injury-prone in those areas. So that would be nice. But yeah, very exciting times coming ahead. This signing is the only one which I have question marks over because I don't think it was... I don't think Thomas was our main priority. I think there were other goalkeepers there. But look, I'm going to give him a chance. I'm never going to write him off straight away. I've learnt my lesson from doing that on previous players in the past. So I will give him an opportunity to show me what he can do. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I think right now it's important just to build relationships now with the players. which Because I do expect him to start that first opening Premier League game. So yeah, those are my thoughts guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.